Welcome back in, everyone, to EA Sports coverage of the NFL. It's the Dolphins in control of the football as we get back to the action in the first quarter. They'll start the drive with Wilson. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Jackson. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. A Miami first down on a 14-yard pickup. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Seven catches, 103 yards, and a touchdown. And that touchdown adds to his lead. He is the NFL leader as we roll through November. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL, so when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, gives yourself a, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. Yeah, I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Wilson with a first down carry. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two there, second down. It's no secret that this is a team that's built on passing, but as you always tell me, you have to throw the run in there every now and then to keep that pass sharp. Yeah, you have to, because otherwise, if they never have to worry about running the football, it is just a controlled sprint to your quarterback. And eventually, you're calling on your backup quarterback. But they got to do better than that last go around. They went in the wrong direction. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 45-yard line. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. To throw again is Jackson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Johnson was the intended receiver, and now it's third down. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Jackson now. And that will be incomplete. Jackson on first down. And that is caught. Touchdown Miami. From 10 yards out. There's it.
after the interception. Here's Jackson. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let him get away. But it does get away and it's second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Second and ten. Here's Jackson again. And he comes back with one complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. That one good for 13 and a Dolphin first down. On the draw, it's Wilson. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. From the 39, Jackson, that's complete, it's Collins. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 43. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. His throw caught right around the six. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. That is now 19-yard gains on back-to-back -back plays. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Jackson will throw again. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. From six yards away. On the ground, the drive starts with Wilson. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. From just shy of midfield. Jackson, he's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the gun, it's Jackson. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's got this down to the 35. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. They'll run on first down. It's Wilson. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. From the 30 on second down, Jackson. Looking left side, it's complete, he's got it. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to and a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five, and a big two. <laughs> Trying to 
to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Black. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. This quarterback now closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletions since. Again, Jackson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Collins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. This quarterback now over 200 yards already in this first half. It's first and 10. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Throw left side complete. It's Black. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Black. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. We own them. 49. Check for the FO. Check four. Check four. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson flush to his right. Now he'll pull it down. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two touchdown game. As we'll head down to Orlando. That's where we. And okay. to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. On second and nine, Jackson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Bring it. Bring it. Jackson from the shotgun. Looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage. They'll run on first down. It's Wilson. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Give it up, 
Now Jackson. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Over the middle, complete. That's Collins. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. He's going to fire one deep over the... This is caught inside the 15. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A big pickup of 38. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty you know, excited about the big plays. Let's face it, that's what we absolutely look for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. The quick slant caught. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's Dolphin football. It's also Dolphin lead to begin quarter number four. Jackson looking to throw on third. Flushed out right. He may try. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. A five-yard touchdown run. Now Jackson. And he rifles one incomplete. Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. To throw once more on second and 10. Jackson. The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. The Dolphins on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Here's Jackson. He can run for it, and he will. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. Well, apart from Kyler Murray, not too many mobile QBs in this year's rookie class, but some good scrambling there to get the first. First and 10, it's Jackson. And a quick throw here, that's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Throwing is Jackson. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. A nine yard touchdown grab. And back into his end zone. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. 
And they'll bring him down right around the 13. Second and one, and people wanted to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. They go play action with Jackson. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Jackson out to his left. Now he's going to... And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. A big play there for the Dolphins. 42 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now it's Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. He'll try and run it. He'll have a first down inside the 10. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too... And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. up to the 34-yard line. A Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. This one, we're thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said, but I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in for the Dolphins. They're setting themselves up as a major contender as they move to eight and one now on the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Indianapolis, the loss will drop them to six and three now on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.